this video we're going to talk about corridor creation. Here I have a DGN file and this is a 2D seed file. Um, that simply did that by right clicking on my folder, copy seed, and I'm using the ORD 2D seed for corridor files. I only have two references in this file. I have my geometry and I have a terrain. You'll need both those. You don't necessarily need a terrain, but if you want to create grading, you would need a terrain. Now that I have those two files in here, or referenced, I would select my terrain. I make this the active terrain. Once I do that, if I was to look at the models, you can see that it creates a 3D managed model, and I don't need to do anything for this. The software takes care of that. But once I make that terrain active, it creates a 3D managed model. I go back to the corridor ribbon here. I'm going to pick this template. I'm going to go File, Open, and I'm going to pick my template library. I'll pick this one here. Let's go ahead and close. At this point, I'll just check it in. Now I'm ready to create a corridor. So I can simply hover over the alignment and wait till I get my heads up display. And I can create a corridor here, or I could come up to the ribbon and select a new corridor. I will select the alignment and I will select create corridor. Now here it says locate profile or reset for active profile. Most geometry is going to have an active profile. So if I wanted to continue, I could right click or reset to use that active profile, but I do not have to pick that profile. If I hit escape here, select my alignment, open the profile model, you can see I have a bunch of geometry associated with this horizontal geometry. So if I go through that command again, I'm going to select my alignment. I'm going to say create corridor. Now it says locate profile or reset. So I could have this view window open with different profiles and I could pick, actively pick one of these profiles. So I could pick this one here. This one says, and that could be my profile but I'm just going to escape out of that and I'm going to use the active profile. So here I would just right click and how here it's just asking me for a name of my corridor. I'm just going to use what the geometry's name is. And now it's asking me for a template. I will just hit the alt and the down arrow key and I'll just use this one here. I'll accept this and we can drag and data click to start or you could type in or key in a station and then you could alt lock to the end of that geometry or again you could data click to end that station or you could key it in i'll just key that in my template drop interval you're always going to want to select five feet and i will just accept that now you can see here, it drew my corridor in my file. If I was to open up another view and look at the 3D model, you would see this corridor in the 3D. And this would be in my 3D model. If I look at this corridor again, I can go to its properties and you can see that there's a feature definition, design. Typically, this is what I'm always on, design. There is a, two more different ones. There's final and prelim. You'd want to set it for final for creating your XMLs and final plans and electronic files. Preliminary is, I really don't use that one very much, but I usually just stick to design. But what, what does design mean? 
If we come over here into the Open Road Standards, I'm just going to expand the libraries. Give it a minute here. Feature definitions. Corridor. You can see here's my different design stages or feature definitions. If I select design and I right click and go to properties, you can see there's going to be quite a few properties for the design feature. One of those being is the template drop interval multiplier is set to two. So we selected a five foot template drop. So we're going to get a template drop every 10 feet. We also have horizontal cardinal points are true, vertical cardinal points are true. And you can see the densifying horizontal, densifying vertical is false. And a couple other things I'd like to point out. Top mesh display is set to false. And that's just the display. If we look in the 3D model, here I have the 3D model active in this view and I open up my level display you can see that there's a level called mesh top but if I turn everything off I cannot see it and that is because of the design stage this is used for earthwork here you can see I'm getting all my linear features and my component meshes here We go back and look at those properties again we can also see that there is linear features display is set to true and the components display is set to true down here on the bottom is the manipulator settings I don't really mess with these too much if I look at the final properties here you can see that my template drop multiplier is now one so now I'm going to get one at every five feet I'm also going to pick up all my horizontal and vertical and external control points. I'm densifying my horizontal values. Again, the top mesh display is set to false. If I look in this view here, this is just the default 2D. And you can see that it's placing my corridor graphics on a level. And you can see all these different TL or template linear points being displayed. Let's go ahead and turn off the 3D reference. All this geometry gets displayed in the 2D model. And why is that? If I come back to my feature definitions and I'm going to come down here to linear corridor modeler template points. We'll just pick a couple here. We'll use the pavement top for a good example. If I right click the properties, you can see that the create template geometry is set to true. This means that that linear feature used in the template library is going to draw in my 2D model. Now is the sub base bottom. If I look at that one, you can see that that one is set to false. So you can see that I'm getting some of these to draw in here. And that's for a reason we can use this stuff to design intersections or gather information from. There is also another property I wanted to point out. Sometimes in these templates, we'll open one up quick here. Uh, we'll pick these enhanced. Let's pick this one here. You can see that there's a bunch of points out here. These are called null points. And if you notice, those null points are not getting drawn in the 3D model. And again, that's going to be these corridor features. Include null point linear features display that is set to false. So we won't ever see those in the 3D model. And that's the basics of dropping a corridor. If you need to get the template library, I think at some point when you right click on a folder and you go to copy seed, you'll be able to pick your template library here and create it. If it's not there, you can come up to the Iowa DOT standards, connect, configuration, organization, civil, Iowa DOT standards, template library, here you can grab the Iowa DOT, 
ITL, and you can copy this to your project folder.